Have you ever asked yourself, what is the best diet? Well, the truth is there's no one diet that works for everyone. The best diet is the one that you'll stick to long term. Many of the popular diets have a lot in common. They want you to start eating whole foods and cut out processed foods and uh, refined sugars. You can lose weight on all diets. You just need to find the one that works best for you. I'm going to use the word diet um, today, but really diet just means the way you eat. So whenever I say diet, you can just think of it as the way you eat. So I'm gonna share with you the top things to consider when trying to choose a way of eating. So the first thing you need to consider when choosing a diet is your goals. What are your goals? Uh, do you want to lose weight, gain muscle, prevent disease or reverse disease? These are all things that you need to consider when choosing a way of eating. So the second thing that you need to consider when choosing a way of eating is your preferences. You need to figure out what um, food preferences that you really enjoy and try to find a plan that um, includes those food preferences. Like if you really enjoy eating steak occasionally, um, you know, don't say you're going to be vegetarian because then you're going to feel deprived because you can't ever eat steak. So another thing to consider when choosing a way of eating or a diet is your lifestyle. If you are on the go all the time, don't choose a plan where you have to spend hours in the kitchen every day. Or if you do, you've got to make time for that in your week. Plan um, when you're going to prep your meals so that you can cook your meals and have those foods on that plan, um, you know, if you're going to choose something like that. So the last thing to consider is if you have health issues. Um, if you have health issues, you may wanna choose a plan that um, addresses those issues. Like if you're diabetic, you may wanna choose a plan that is for people who um, want to stabilize their blood sugar or control their blood sugar. So to be clear, in my opinion, I don't think you should define your diet. I think that can do more harm than good in the long run. If you're anything like me, it can feel stressful to feel like you're on a diet or a certain plan all the time. Instead, I enjoy all foods, but I set perimeters for what I'm going to eat um, so I don't feel deprived and I don't feel like I'm on a diet all the time. And that's also a good rule of thumb um, if you're, you know, if, if you can kind of get out of control with your eating, if you set perimeters for yourself, um, you know, so your eating doesn't get out of control or you don't go on a binge or something. So, for example, I tend to eat a lower carb diet to control my blood sugar, um, but I don't define it as keto or Atkins or anything like that, because to me, that would just um, stress me out more that um, I'm on a diet and I can't have certain things. And so I don't define my diet. I just um, eat a certain way. But when I do want to have, um, you know, a splurge meal or um, an out of the norm meal, then that's what I do and I don't stress about it because I'm not on a, a particular diet. So I hope that makes sense to you. So diet plans can be great to establish a structure, but it's up to you to figure out what is going to work for you long term and what's going to be best for you long term. So guys, that's all I have for today. 
Um, let me know in the comments what way of eating works best for you. What do you like to do and what do you enjoy? Um, what has worked for you long term? So if you're interested in finding out more about health coaching and what I teach, you can sign up for a free call with me and the link will be in my description box. And you can also connect with me on my other social platforms and they will be linked um, in the description below also. So that's all I have for you guys and I will see y'all next week.